when he could say he never hear Richie but he always respond to Richie and nobody was talking about you hit rewind I didn't say your name what's the matter your conscience bother you well the shoe just fits and you gotta wear it he's very embarrassed about his body very embarrassed about his body but I don't know why he goes and hits his uh, CK's cousin's kid would it be one of four bangs a little kid over the head I mean how old could he Child support makes a nice penny. He's the bucky pie of it, 
drives that white pickup truck that really don't work all the time. It's broken down white pickup truck. Yeah, I heard a little bit about him. Yeah, I know somebody that knows him very well. Yeah, and uh, he keeps going to Wellwood Avenue two or three, four times a day. I wonder what's going on in the back there. And what they're doing, selling out of the van. I don't know, there's a lot of creepy stuff going on. Dirt man, wow. Well, you know, Mike, if he didn't go too far, if he didn't go too far and he wasn't on Mike Johnson, he wouldn't be have to be worrying about that right now. The whole little click, the domino effect is devastating. Knock, knock. Wow, what happened, silence? How about Method Don John? That's another one.
Audio. I feel it. The new guy who wants to be channel master is just now starting to ID the guys that have been talking on this channel for decades. Shame on it. That's not unbelievable. It's always believable because all the truth is right there in the video game and no, people, smart people, ain't afraid to hit rewind. Oh, as all the view counts tell you. <laughs> Richie was another one. He used to eat paint chips and he thought they were Cheerios. He must have had a whole rat here. I tell you, man, there was, you know, they have the old green pipe right here, Richie. All right, Bandit in action. I know you ain't letting these clowns in the gate. Oh, 
the sun and then when he look in the mirror he grilling Richie come on you don't want to admit it but he was out here talking about going to fucking narcotics anonymous meeting dirt man pacing dirt man pacing dirt man we want to know more about John Pyman and uh so I guess it would be Michael John Pyman yeah
And he said, my one hole better pay off better than her three hole, so I better start bending now. Bullshit. You ain't doing nothing. The only thing you're bending is your bow hole. I don't know, Mike. I can't wait for him to bring his Kevlar gloves, man. Every time I hear those videos with him saying how he bought a special pair of Kevlar gloves, he's coming to Brooklyn. He's going to hit me and make my tooth fly out or sound like a handballer, you know. I sort of, you know, it makes me feel like my wife is within arm's reach. It starts to get heavy. Okay, that's that crush. She can't afford to pay for car service if you go out there. He can't afford to come to you. Only, only, only she can drove his mother's car, the Geo, that I, that I showed you the picture of. Well, you know what it is, man, is he honestly got it in his brain that he's dealing with someone like himself, a Joe Neckbone whose head screws on and off, on and, on and off. But I can assure you, the brain in my head is Joe D. Pistone all the way. <laughs> yeah, that's who you are, Joe Neckbone. You got that right. Should I I need drugs. I, I need something. Yeah, this is insane right here. Hey, Brooklyn Bandit. Oh my God, they do I like it, crackhead free. Hey, Bandit. Crackhead free, junkhead free. This do I like it. Richie's going to hunt the hater of Michael J. Yeah, he is. Definitely a crackhead. No, I just wanted to know that um, if this still seems like last year to you, you know. I just want to know if maybe you got a better gist of it now and... uh well, actually, you know, the more I sit back and listen to you, the more I understand now you're feeling the vibe. But, uh, brother, don't don't let it take you out of character. No matter what I portray, I, you know, I, I got functions. You know that. What, what, you know, it's, well, in other words, what I'm trying to say is, uh, do as I say, not as I do. Basically, there's no limit with what you want to do for that rock. I I got your vibe. I know exactly the code you're speaking. No, no, I'm all good, it's all good at the moment, but again, my action offended me as a third party, speaking about Michael J. Crying Games. Man, Richard, you got that rock for your race. The whole, you know, painting the picture, because really, to be honest with you, Crying Game only has to worry about, have shame about him being a transgender, and not about what his mom is going on, chicken mom, chicken mom, you know, Right on there, Brooklyn Bandit. All right, I'm going to sit back quiet and leave it back to you and uh, Mr. Action to take action and make sure they get no gate time. I'm going to wave at 347 because he out there hollering chicken bone, chicken bone, chicken bone. So I'm going to get back in my quiet chair and let the video gate do the work. Your hole in the wall, King of New York, and I'm back quiet. 10 must work real well if he can't hear me and the rest of the five boroughs in the U.S. can, huh? Damn, they're taking the Anthony Mizzle right out of my radio, man. They're all crushing that junkie. Look what you take it, Anthony Rizzo, right in your neighborhood. And uh, you know what? Who the hell is Anthony Rizzo anyway? Oh, 
Uh, Jeez, that clown's hearing me when I don't even key up. Ain't that a bitch? Because, uh, 